spotted Natalie not on a Spirit Airlines flight and called Natalie out for not being as rich as she claims. The woman wrote, world is really so small. This broke bitch flying Spirit. Bam. What is your take on this? And do you think this means you're broke because you took one flight on Spirit, Q? So here's the thing, right? And, and, and Natalie clarified it. She was taking a trip from the Bay Area to L.A. It's a, a quick flight. I mean, I think it's practical for anybody if you're just taking a quick flight to get on whatever airline you can in whatever seat you can. It's not a big deal, right? And I'm actually glad that Natalie is semi-smart with her money. But here is the problem, right? The problem is when a large part of your brand and a large part of your vibrato is about stunting on people, about the, the designer you wear and the jewelry that you have and the access and how I'm so rich and then I'm so that, you create an atmosphere where it's easy for people to want to tease and pick on you when they see you do regular people's stuff mm -hmm. because you're so boisterous and braggadocious when it comes to your money. Because, I mean, quiet as it's kept, uh, Kyle Richards from Beverly Hills Housewives ain't getting on no commercial flight to go 37 minutes. Paris Hilton ain't getting on. Ivanka Trump ain't getting on. So, you know, when you serving it up like that, Natalie, you got to serve it up like that the whole way through. If not, then just, you know, tone it down a little bit and act normal sometimes. And people wouldn't trip when you do normal people things. I think that's a very good point. Al, what do you think? So I'm going to I'm going to not disagree because he's right. Everything he said about Natalie is right. But let I don't think people understand how this flying thing works. You guys know I'm on a I'm on a plane 16 times a, a, a month. And and Claudia, you should know this just as well. Sometimes you've got to get on the flight to get you where you're going because you're on a deadline. You're about to pick up a check in the other city. First class is sold out across the board, depending on the hubs that you're going through. So you've got to get on that plane and you're going to get on any plane that gives you access to get you to your destination on time so that you can do your next gig so that you can get your next check. Now, she did say that it wasn't spirit. She said that it was actually Southwest. So I will say, as it relates to what Funky was saying, it makes 100% sense. But I never forget when I first started flying, and I used to see celebrities sit in, 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 in under, I call it underclass. And I used to say, oh, my goodness, why are you in underclass with me? Without really knowing it has nothing to do a lot of times with their economic status. It has to do with their convenience status and them getting somewhere because they have to get there. So I just want people to take that into consideration because you're going to, y'all know, I, I enjoy flying first class. But if first class is not available and I know I got to get to a city, I will be sitting right next to you in underclass. I promise I will. And we can share my damn pretzels if you like. I'm going to keep it a buck. I never buy my own first class flight. If you see me on a plane in first class, I got upgraded from my pass, my companion pass that I have, or I'm being flown in for a booking and they that's part of my contract. It's in my rider. I feel like first class is not what it used to be. Now, if I'm going overseas, of course, that's different, a long flight. But if I'm going to go from Dallas to New York or Dallas to Atlanta, which is an hour and 10 minutes, I'm not going to pay $800 when I could pay $150. Because guess what? I actually live the life in real life with my house, with my cars, with my jewelry, with my lifestyle. I'd much rather spend the money on my life then one hour in the air to impress someone that's on the same goddamn cheap ass flight as me. And I do like, I like Southwest. Now spirit does stress me out. And that is my absolute last choice because they be trying it there. This is how their seats recline. This is a regular, this is how it reclines, <laughs> right? That's it. That's all you're going to get with a spirit. You mean those that's baby it. seats you sitting there? Cause they're my half seats. The those tray are half is, seats. Right. The tray is about four <laughs> inches wide. So I, deep. So listen, I hate when people judge people for this kind of stuff. And if you are successful and you do work a lot, like we all travel a lot, it's not realistic, just like it ain't realistic for reality stars of being designer and stuff every day. It's not realistic when you do this every day or every couple right. of days. It's not. Right. So sorry. If you see me first class, someone's tricking off on me. I got a job or I got upgraded. And I, Claudia, oh, I like that tricking off on you part. Oh yeah. That's happening. <laughs>